So last uh, few lessons, we saw a very simple voicing and this is 251 using only the root, the third and the seventh. And then we saw the alternative arrangement, which is with the seventh below the third. And now we are going to try something a bit different, which is using a secondary dominant, which is the dominant for the fifth degree or the dominant for the dominant, which is D7 instead of D minor 7. And we use this as a replacement of the subdominant, which conducts to the fifth, and that resolves again in the root or the tonic in the same way. So this is a bit different. You have the raised third to make the chord dominant for the second degree. So in this case, the conduction is a bit different because it descends chromatically for both the third and the seventh. And then results again in the tonic in the same way as before. So if we do this in all case like we did before, we just need to do exactly the same. We move the root, but now we need to move also the third to make it dominant. And we can practice this in all keys, as we were doing with the previous voicings, just to get comfortable and to get used to a different sound. And the more you practice this in all keys, the faster you get used to think about it. And then when you are improvising, this literally flows out of your fingers and it's easier. So if we see the other voicing, the voicing number two that we saw, we use the third and the seventh, but in inversion. Uh, so we need to raise the third to make it dominant. And remember to go down from the third to the seventh. Now you need to move. Before, you didn't need to move. It was essentially the same note. But now you need to move. And then, again. Hopefully you can just get comfortable playing this in all keys, at all kinds of speeds, like very, very fast. So you just... So you just keep doing it until you get so comfortable, you don't even need to think about it. And then we can start adding more voices or try different alternatives. We're going to be exploring a lot of alternatives and you will see how much you can do with just three voicings. So I hope you like this and hope you join me again for more sessions and lessons about voicings. Thank you.